What up, though? It's Jada Boss Man, and you know what time it is. Oh, you know what time. It's time to eat. <laughs> yeah, we check out the Brown Dog today, right in Northville, Michigan. Let's go check it out. Come on. <laughs> One of the first things you notice when you walk through the door is they have every kind of ice cream you can think of. And they should. They got their own creamery. So everything that's hand packed, or you can get some to go in one of these cases here. Yeah, that's how they get down for starters. Oh yeah. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Jay the Boss Man. Who you know what time it is? It's time to meet. You see, I gotta hold the mic up because the place is rocking today. Where I'm at, I'm out here in Northville, and uh, we're hanging out with Zena right here from the Brown Dog. We called her up. She said, "Yeah, come down and check them out." Um, just what I know already. The place is rocking. You're gonna see some real cool stuff today. So my new best friend, Zena, has been holding the place down as the head manager for the last eight years. Oh, yeah, eight okay. years. Eight years. I did not know that y'all was in here. I kind of was looking around for things. And I'm like, wow, what's this place? It looks kind of cool, kind of quiet. And it's kind of like hidden in between everything. What's the coolest thing about working here? We make our food ice cream, so it's handcrafted. Everything is basically our food is handcrafted, our ice cream is handcrafted. Okay, so you know your boy loves some ice cream. Um, don't mind a cocktail every once in a while. What's, what's the signature cocktail here? What should I try? This place has a ton, and I mean a ton of different types of mixed drinks that they've created themselves and some you may already have heard of. Painkiller is excellent. <laughs> Hold on, you said it's called the painkiller? Yes. How many, how many liquors is mixed in that? <laughs> okay, so I didn't try any drinks this time around, but maybe next time. I mean, I am driving today, so no drinking and driving, kids. <laughs> What about the food? What's like the, the most popular dish? I saw some things on the menu that looked at the thing. What do you recommend? Our burgers are the killers, you know. Our, definitely our appetizers, such as the pretzels, nachos, you know, those are big things. I saw the pretzels on the menu. That is definitely something I want to try. Y'all going to love the way these look. And I got a feeling I'm going to love the way they taste. Of course, if you want to taste them, you're about to come down and check out Brown Dog for yourself. And we're going to go from there. Well, look, I know you're a busy woman. You got things to do. I'm about to hold you. I appreciate you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. Welcome. All right, thank you. I'm going to get back to y'all a little bit. We're going to order some stuff. We're going to check some stuff out. You know what time it is. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to eat. Street corn. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're excited about that one. You see the chef working in the corn. If you look closely, yeah, them burger patties got my name on it, too. <laughs> Let's get it. Yep, he's going to pour everything into that little mini skillet, which is piping hot, by the way. But we're not done just yet. He gonna hit it with some chipotle seasoning, a little cilantro aioli, and some crumbled up queso blanco. <laughs> Let's take it to the next level. Order up. I don't know about you, but that looks good. <laughs> yeah, with all that goodness in that corn. <laughs> Smells good too. Hmm. <laughs> this is one of them dishes that I can describe it to you, but you gotta try it for yourself. First thing you notice is that it's nice and hot, and the heat kicks in. Boom! I mean, it blows the doors off. It's, it's it got some kick to it. Um, of course, you know you expect it to have kick to it. That kind of just supposed to happen. Um, also got cilantro in it and the spices like I said coming in. They also gave me a lime wedge and you already know if you got lime, <laughs> it's gonna take it to the next level. Let me go ahead and squeeze this lime on here like, like a professional. <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to get this good eating going on. Y'all know how we do it on this channel. Oh yeah. I'ma say it again. Lime always, always takes you to the next level. Man, that's banging. Bavarian pretzels. <laughs> yeah, this the one we was talking about with Zena earlier. Got beer cheese and uh, got a little bit of a uh, white queso, and uh, they also grind it out with a little bit of stout mustard. I can't wait to taste these. You can look and tell that they're gonna be good, man. 
These pretzels come out nice and hot. They cover with a little Parmesan and some butter, and they ready to go. First one, hit it with the beer cheese, uh-huh, the stout mustard, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that queso right there. Man, y'all gonna have to give me a minute. I gotta taste these. The only reason I'm reacting like that, because this is doggone good. Let's start with the beer cheese. It's got a thick consistency, kind of creamy, and uh, yeah, I love the way that tastes. Next is the stout mustard. It reminds me more of like a Dijon mustard, like, haha, <laughs> past the Grey Poupon. And the queso, well. Man, that's, it's almost unfair how good that tastes right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely unfair. Moving right along. So Marissa's been the one been taking care of us, all this, seeing all the food, everything is great. Um, she's the one that also recommended the queso and the bread. You were right. <laughs> oh, you were absolutely right. And I love all the flavors, but something about the queso. Elevates a lot more. A lot more, man. How long have you been working here? About six months. Just six months? Yeah, just six months. Oh, you really good. You, 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 when she went before? Or? I did. I worked for Outback. Uh, oh, well, I'll, sorry, I can't give Outback too much. Love, they just, <laughs> look, they're not hitting on that y'all got going here. No, no, this one is fabulous. It's fantastic. Say it one more time with people. It's fabulous. She is not lying. This is some great, great food. Um, the place, the atmosphere is beautiful. I, I, I would work here. I, I love the atmosphere. Everybody says you're cool. All the customers are cool. What's your favorite dish here? My favorite dish is the Nashville hot chicken soup. Do you have that with the you don't make me do a round two here. I don't do I don't do too crazy on spicy because you don't like me, but I do like it. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, y'all stay tuned and look for it. If y'all request it, I would come back and do natural hot chicken. In fact, I'll buy you one. We can even do it together. I like it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. So I went ahead and ordered a couple of burgers. They ready to go, and of course. Because Marissa brought it up, I had to order the duck fat fries and the truffle fries. <laughs> Y'all know there was no way I was going to come out here, hear her say that, and not check them out. Oh, you know what time it is. So next up, I'm going to hit this bacon green burger. Top on the So that burger sits atop a brioche bun. Then you open it up. It's got the house-made berry jam, arugula, bacon, smashed burger patty, and those are brie cheese curds. See how they got them smashed open to unleash all that cheesy goodness? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mmm, hmm, hmm. One thing that you would never see coming is a mixture of the brie cheese and that jam. Even though they're far apart on the burger, they come together beautifully. Add that bacon, the softness of that bun, man, you're on another level. I don't think I've ever had a burger with that kind of flavor going. The brie is fried, it's a little bit of curds, it's crunchy, it's nice and creamy. The arugula is always good on the burger. The burger cooked great, it's got a lot of flavor in it, nice, nice, nice flavor in it, real good cook on it. Appreciate the cooks in the back for doing that, that's pretty sweet. That jam, that jam is something else. So you, you mix the sweet notes with that jam, and then you got the bottom with the cheese curds in there, and then meat between. It's another level we've ever seen before. It ain't too much more I can say about that burger. That is a really good burger. They know what they're doing. And of course, they had to come back with triple fries. Let me find a pork, right? Y'all know what I'm about to do. Let me go in here. Yeah, Next, truffle fries. Oh, yeah. It's about to get real good, real fast. And you can see how big that basket is. They are not being stingy with those fries. Oh, no. This right here, that's what you call stuff. These fries, they got stuff on them. These truffle fries are perfect. They're hot, crispy, and oh so savory. Some of y'all who want to do it with the mayo. Smell, smell not for the burger, it smells for the fries. No, well, you know about that. But I hear they do it overseas a lot. I do it right here in my own house. Been doing it with that mayo. Wait a minute, that's not regular mayo. Oh yeah, that's garlic aioli. 
This thing got a little truffle, little truffle and oatly in there. That is really, really good. Eat that again. Mm. Oh, yeah. I know what you're thinking. Why would you put mayo on your fries? Get out the box. Get out the box. Try something different. Try something new. I guarantee you that right there you won't be the A B Dog Burger. Y'all know I had to try this one. It's like the signature of this place. <laughs> that thing on top right there, that's called a fried poached egg. Throw some bacon, two smash burgers. Yep, that's two. A mix of veggies and some Geyer cheese. Let me go ahead and smash that yolk out of there. That's the only way to eat this boy, you know that. <laughs> Looks good to me. Y'all go ahead and take one more look before I uh <laughs> before I punish this boy. <laughs> oh, it's going down. Yeah. One, two, three. Did I mention that I had two patties? <laughs> that means double the flavor. Add the bacon in there, the Gruyere cheese, and the egg takes it all the way home. Yup. If you see me looking at a burger like that, <laughs> you know I'm about to go for another bite. <laughs> That's how we do on this channel. Can you say duck fat fries? <laughs> of course you can. Now this was my first time ever trying duck fat fries. And there was no way in the world I was gonna leave the brown dog today without trying them. When you bite into them, everything is just extra crispy. The flavor of the fries just goes up. I mean, it's like a huge flavor enhancer. Now I can sit here and talk about them till I'm blue in the face. But unless you try these on your own, you're not gonna really understand what I'm saying. And for those of you who have tried these fries before, leave me a note in the comments and let me know what your thoughts was and let me know what your experience was about because I really, really want to know. Oh yeah. When I say I had a meal, man, we had a meal today. I'm telling you, you gotta get out here and check this place out. Everything I had was just, it was up here. Next level, the staff, the service, the cooks, Man, y'all got down today. Hey, check out the brown dog. Until next time, you know what time it is. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to eat. I want to thank all the subscribers who've been riding with me so far. And I also want to thank the new ones for checking me out too. I'll be back again next week. You know what time it is. Oh, you know what time it is. It's time to eat.